Hi, welcome to Bar Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential functions. In this video, what I want to do is look at equations and determine if they're exponential or not. And if they are, I want to look at the numbers that make the exponential function and break them down. For my first example, I have y equals 3 to the fourth x. Well, we don't have an exponent that's a variable. We do have an exponent, but it's not a variable. This is really an equation of a line. 3 to the fourth is 81. This is really y equals 81x. This is a line with a really, really, really steep slope. So no, this is not exponential. Let's see. m of c equals 1.4 to the c. So this is exponential, you can tell, because our exponent is a variable. This one's a little bit tricky. The first thing I want to talk about is the initial value. For the initial value, that's what this equals when c equals 0. So there's an implied 1 here. Don't think the initial value is 0. If it was, you would just have the x-axis. So the initial value, when nothing is written, there's an implied 1. Same with exponents. There's an implied one here. We don't write all our ones. We don't say all our ones. If I was gonna hand you this marker, I would say, hey, here's a marker. I don't say, hey, here's one marker. It sounds a little bit presumptuous. Okay, my initial value is one, and this is where we cross the vertical axis. So I'm gonna write it as an ordered pair, zero, one. Now, the part that you multiply over and over, that's our multiplication factor. In this case, our multiplication factor is 1.4. This factor tells us how we multiply moving forward. From this factor, what we can do is we can figure out what the percent growth or percent decay is. Because our factor is greater than one, it's gonna have a percent growth. You don't always have to figure this out, but we're going to for now, just so we can get all the information out that we can. So to get the rate as a decimal, we subtract one. So this becomes 0 0.4. And then to get the rate as a percent, you multiply by 100. So this has a 40% growth rate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.